Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Do you guys remember yesterday when I raved about Daisy and how amazing she is and how much we love her? Oh, she's driving me crazy today. So uh, even though she loves Sophie so much, the problem is is that when it's time to come down to the barn and I bring her, <laughs> she only comes halfway and then she looks around and notices that Sophie's not there and now she's back at the house. And so now I have to wait and see if Sophie notices that she's at the door and lets her in or I have to go back up there and let her in myself because I can't just let her roam around up by the house. Oh, I see Sophie's got her. <laughs> oh, it's craziness. Dogs and kids, I'm telling you now, all the same. Lots of snow today. You guys have, you guys saw how it all had melted, and then poof, we're back under snow. Back under so much snow. Nice of you to join us, Daisy. <laughs> she was waiting for you. I know, wouldn't go down without you. So welcome to today's video. Today, our farrier for our girls is here, and oddly enough, she's a girl. Not that that's odd, but. We have a girl for our girls. See where I'm going with that? Let's do this. Let's do it. The dog. It's way colder in the barn. <laughs> it's way colder. Yeah, the sun is out today. You guys saw yesterday at the end of the video, I was like, you know what? I hate my life. Like, just seems like everything goes wrong. Is going wrong. Not all the time wrong, but I know it's just a stage that we all go through. Penny's face covered in mess. She's a messy girl. Yeah, you are, and you're getting your feet done. She shies away from me now. Why, why do you ask? It's because I always have like, want to clean my horse, and unfortunately, she doesn't like it as much as I like it. She's watching, she's wary. She's like, I know, I know you're gonna try and clean me. Like, look at that. She, she gets dirty just sleeping in her room, in her bed. People were talking yesterday in the comments about how you can use tea bags to make your horse's eyes better. And yeah, we did that before. Penny's problem is that she has under under turned eyelids. So no matter how much tea bags you put on there, it's not gonna change that. I tried it for a really long time and it did actually help. As soon as you stop, it, it just goes back to normal for her. It's a physical issue more than like uh, bacteria or whatever. She just her eyelids don't close all the way, so when she lays down, um, she just gets stuff in there and she just makes them more prone to be irritated. And so that's her problem. One day I will get really good at saying everything I need to say in one video, so the people that that have suggestions hear all the, all the stuff and it creates less confusion. But you think I would have figured that out, how to do that by now, but no, not me. <laughs> so this is how much snow we got yesterday. Half a finger. All right, are we ready? We're already ready, you guys. We're just flying today. That's what happens when you get up at the crack of dawn. My pony can do that too. I can just stand here and she won't move. All right, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. But my pony, uh oh. Oh, I try to clean her the best I can. Oh, nice and slow today. Oh, 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 look at that tail. <laughs> oh, just bring me so much happiness. Today is a mare day, finally. Like, finally, we have a mare day. Whoa. I love to see how slow they walk on the ice. That's amazing. Gracie, <laughs> why don't you come with me, Gracie? Why don't you? Why don't you just follow me around? Pretend we're best friends. Are you my best friend, Gracie girl? She's my best friend, you guys. <laughs> Most friendly horse. Do you guys remember when I bought Gracie? You guys remember why I bought Gracie? We need Hmm. That was interesting. She just did a big, huge buck and kick and jump and run. But the reason I bought Gracie was because we needed a, a companion horse for Willow whenever I took on my horse out someplace, away someplace. And so Gracie was the friendliest horse I'd ever met. She was just so friendly all the time and, and loved people and she was my kind of person. All right, so yesterday in the hot seat was Daisy Dog. And today we're gonna talk about Molly. Molly, Molly, 
Molly! So when we got Molly, people said, don't get a border collie, you're never gonna be able to control it. It's gonna destroy everything. You have to have a certain lifestyle, which I don't know, I feel like we have the lifestyle for our active dog. Cause we're an active family and we live on a farm. Nevertheless, people told us it was a bad idea. And Molly's birthday is this week. Molly's birthday is in four days. And one thing that I have learned over the last two years is that board, Molly doesn't misbehave, not ever. Like she just does not ever misbehave. So, so it makes me not understand fully <laughs> what people mean by like you can't handle a border collie because they are the most behaved dogs wow. of life. Like they, she just would never ever misbehave. She's serious, she's, motivated she's focused she's she's incredibly smart she literally runs she's down not that smart come here, come here. <laughs> she's... yeah <laughs> she's not very smart come here sit good girl Get your pylon. <laughs> she knows the word pylon yeah she knows words today when i opened the door to come down to the barn she knew that yesterday we didn't bring them down we don't bring them down when it's all mud outside and so yesterday we didn't bring them down so today when i opened the door she didn't just run out she sat on the threshold of the door and stared up at me with her head cocked to say like is it a day i'm allowed to go if there are so many different opinions based on the exact same thing like a breed of dog then how will you know who to believe when you're contemplating getting a dog? You have to know yourself, know your wants, know what would work good for you and what would fit your lifestyle. You can't just listen to what other people say. So we say she's never misbehaved a day in her life, but we also live on a farm. So maybe in an apartment, she would misbehave crate like crazy. So my lesson today, you guys, is to trust yourself and always look inward for answers for things that will fit your lifestyle or that will fit you, choices that you want to make. All right, so somebody just sent me a message and said, happy International Women's Day. It's International Women's Day. It's International Women's Day and we didn't even know. So I'm gonna call Sam and see what he has to say about this. Sit down here, guys. We have something to tell you. It's International Women's Day, Sam. You have three women in your life. What are we doing for supper? He's making hamburger oh, helper. Supper. He's uh, making hamburger helper. Hamburger helper. It's International Women's Day and you own three women. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No. <laughs> I know, but I self-identify as a woman too, so. <laughs> okay, well, well, we ex we accept chocolates and flowers. Chocolate. Chocolate. All right. I don't like flowers. All right, what do you want? Yeah, chocolate. Yeah, chocolate. I want chocolate and flowers too. I love flowers. No. <laughs> My dog will have them in her cage in two seconds. All right. Yeah, chocolate and flowers will do. Chocolate. Uh, Gabby just wants chocolate. Okay. Bye. Right. Bye. Bye. Okay, farrier's here, and we don't even have our horses in yet. All right, we were wrong. We heard, I heard a car door close. You. Were I heard. Yeah, I was wrong. Oh, I, I never said that she was here. I was wrong, you guys. But we are ready now. We got the horses in. One eating there. One eating here. And little Miss Willow going first. I gotta bend down so low. You should be more flexible. Hello. Every day that you pick up on his feet, this is like shorter than you. We are done. And I think I just let Penny out with her halter on. Sophie's always telling me that I forget her halter. I don't want to forget her halter. Oh, I took it off. I didn't give her a treat. Oh my gosh, the sun is so glorious out here, you guys. I'm being approached from all angles all angles wait i'll give you a treat i have three wait you're gonna make me fall one for you she got all cleaned off and she's all beautiful again we're gonna come down after lunch and take you guys first for an adventure okay okay and one for you that's all i have gracie gracie cuts me off which is so bad 
definitely so bad. <laughs> Crazy, don't cut me off. Just walk beside me. I literally love my farrier, you guys. We have a woman that comes to our barn and does our girls. I literally love her so much. Just had the craziest conversation about how she's done like past life regressions before and she's so amazing like I don't know if you guys believe in that stuff uh, but I do because I meditate I'm really good at meditating and when I was younger I was really into meditating I don't know where my broom is and I've like seen past lives of my own and so when she was telling me stuff about her past lives I like it's so emotional like I literally just felt like I was gonna cry listening to her talk about her past lives and she was telling me about like the person the person that helps her regress and I think I want to do that I want to go there and I think I want to talk to her and, and like see about Stella you guys I want to I want to see like I've dreamed Stella two times I told you guys that once I dreamed that she told me how much us being there when she died was how much it meant to her and then I also dreamed about later much later her coming in her her just flourishing and being like her best self and being happy and I really need to find my broom school is done for the day school is done Gabby's been sitting in a blanket all day are you cold Gabby no no are you cold Sophie just comfortable these are not comfortable chairs they are all right, let's go girls. We got plans. I got plans you guys. Come on. We are gonna I'm gonna show you um, We're headed down to the barn and I'm gonna show you guys what my plan is for today So you guys know that this year is not just gonna be about Sophie and Gabby even though I love watching their journey on their horses and the shows the shows are the big thing for me and But this year I'm gonna take time for myself like I told you guys I know lately I haven't been because the weather's been bad but I'm gonna take time for myself, for me and Penny, and I have like made some really amazing friends, really nice, amazing friends that I'm so excited about. I'm excited about them because even though they know I'm like nervous and stuff, they've been inviting me to go places with them and ride with them, and I'm gonna do it. This is the year I'm gonna do it. So today I want to prepare for that. Like I'm a preparer. <laughs> <laughs> I want to like like to like do stuff and build up to it and practice and prepare Penny like you guys know before I took her to our barn which I'm going to do again soon but not now because of the flood um before I took her I worked so hard on trailer training getting her used to the trailer and I had this whole huge agenda this whole huge agenda I had of things that I wanted to accomplish before I took her and we did it and it turned out to be like the best thing ever because we prepared and we practiced and so today <laughs> Penny had her ears so far back like when I came out here her ears were so pinned and it's because a little Missy there she always has to tell her that she's the boss <laughs> anyways so today today I want to start, I've been wanting to start it, but the weather's just been crazy. Uh, the ground is soft right now because it's all muddy, which is not necessarily a good thing. But today I want to take the ponies for a walk. You guys have seen us do it so many times on this channel where we take them for a walk, where I'm going to practice ride her. I want to eventually get back to riding Penny on the road because that's what we used to do. And that is what I love. First partner show where you have to have two horses. I'm a horse and Will is a horse. Sophie's a horse and Willow's a horse. Gabby's coming. We're going to take her horses for a little walk, just like to start off the season, because spring is in the air. So we're going to do that. We're going to take our horses for a walk. And I'm actually so excited, even though it's nerve wracking. And Sophie is over there preparing for the walk <laughs> by running. <laughs> All right, Penny Pickle, you ready to go? And I know our horses love going places and doing things. And we are all ready to go. We are ready to go. Penny's ready to go. Willow's ready to go. Gracie is not ready to go. Why are you not ready for Grace for to go, Gracie? Why? Why are you not ready? Because there's nobody to walk, Gracie. Hmm. Are we waiting for Gabby again? No, she's on her way. I saw her. <laughs> but come on already. <laughs> this is even Penny just did a big sigh. 
Oh, Gabby again. <laughs> what? I was doing this to Grace and she started laughing. Yeah, they love it. I like watch what our farriers do, or I watch what our chiropractors do and our massage therapists do, and our chiropractor always shakes them like this. And our horses love that, so I try and do it always. Look it, look, quick, your, your owner's coming. Did you get treats? No. Uh, I like to take treats with me because if things get crazy. <laughs> I need a little more than that. Well, you have to go get your own then, sister. Well, it's nice of you to join the party, Gabby. Wow. <laughs> wow. It's too muddy. Gotta go on the road. Yeah, we're gonna go on the road. Alright, so. <laughs> we are going! But Penny. Penny is excited. We maybe or maybe not be a little bit excited. I don't know how much of this I'm gonna be able to take video because oh Penny's like grass. <laughs> Like for weeks now I've been working on this thing where Penny freaks out if somebody comes up behind her. And I've been trying to work on that with her. And so far she's been doing so good, you guys. Like, it's working. Groundwork is working. Right, Penny Pickle? The both of the horses came running up behind her. And I'll tell you what else is working. <sighs> All right. She's looking both ways. <laughs> Ah, I love it. I love being out, being free. And they do too. She's got her ears up. You doing good? I've learned with Penny, the best way to remind her to listen to me is to back her up. And she listens so good when I back her up. Ooh. Holy heck, I'm out of shape. <laughs> <laughs> then he's like, I'm out of shape too, Laura. <laughs> but she's calmer than any other time. I miss this. I miss this. Seriously though? She's calmer than she's ever been, you guys. Okay, whoa. You don't realize how out of shape you get in winter. Gracie looks like she'd be freaking out. She's like, we're out! <laughs> how? <laughs> <Like they're laughs> but <laughs> she doesn't like walking. Take your horse up and down it. All right. She looks like she's a little more nervous. Run up, not down. She looks like she's a little more nervous with Sophie. Even though she's really good with Sophie, she definitely gets a lot of her confidence from me. Who knew I would ever say those words, though? No, that's a lie. <laughs> Gabby says that's a lie. You're trying to <laughs> No. <laughs> No, she does get confidence from me. Like, not maybe not under saddle as much as on the ground, but I swear to God, she really does. Let me tell you this, let me tell you right now, your exquisite kiss still burning. Didn't know I missed this passion in life. Now I'm addicted somehow. Let me tell you why, what is up with your smile? It's impossible, not melting, irresistible. I can't run in front of Gracie because Gracie's so much. Okay. All right, so it was a bit of a fail. <laughs> Your horse is the best. Run with her. All right, run with, here, take this one. <laughs> We're trading off the ponies. All right, hold on. Good girl, Ben. All right, so <laughs> we're taking selfie to let every, the rest of us are too old for running. <laughs> Gabby's over the hill, she's almost 15. Anyways, I just wanted this to be like 
a small little outing, a beginning of our summer journey with our horses. <laughs> and none of them are good. Oh, there we go. There we go. There's a school bus coming. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's go back. Penny, <laughs> quick, there's a school bus coming. <laughs> I said, quick, Penny, there's a school bus coming. And she snorted. Now she's snorting. Whoa. Okay. Like, she's doing so good. Like, yeah. I love it when her eyes like nice and soft like that and she's just calm and she's been like that all day. Yeah, Willow's the best. Dad's coming home soon. Gabby wants to go home. Gabby wants to get home because it's International Women's Day. And she thinks Sam is bringing us home chocolates. There's something wrong with my camera. Whew, so there, uh, that was fun. My camera keeps fogging up, you guys. That was the most fun I've had in a long time. Willow's the best. Yeah, Willow was the best. She didn't even spook, she didn't even try to bolt on me. Did Gracie bolt? Yeah, Gracie tried to bolt on me and Gabby when the car was going by. Uh, my pony just kept walking like, can I have a treat now? Can I have a treat now? Yeah, like Willow definitely did the best. And then I felt Gracie, or Penny was better than Willow, Gracie. No. No? <laughs> now we're gonna try to run with her because she's running sideways and you're yeah. trying to run forward. Yeah. Well, I was terrified that <laughs> I keep running because that's what I was supposed to do. So a truck came and Penny freaked out and she was like doing little crow hops on the end of the lead rope. Oh, I saw. Did you see it? It wasn't Gracie a crow hop. She was just it? trying to go yeah. forward and get away. So it seemed like she was bouncing her bum and her head up and down. Gracie actually tried to go into the ditch. Gracie went. And we'll go <laughs> So I told the guy, like, slow down, please slow down. No, I waved at him, and I don't think he waved back at me. He did wave back. He waved he back. waved back at me? But then he just sped away from us, and the sound of, like, the sound of the <laughs> snow, like the car in the snow. Oh, did some kind of funky thing, thing, but it was really gentle. That's the thing about Penny. Whenever she does anything, like, not perfect, okay. it's always really gentle. Okay, so, okay, wait, 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 wait. So today is the I international. Hope I, got I hope you got me these. So today is International Women's Day, and we sent a message to Sam and said like it's Women's Day. We expect dinner, and he said there's not going to be a dinner. So we said okay, we'll accept chocolates and flowers. So I want flowers. This is a, his chance said, to. There's not going to be a dinner. Not going to be a special dinner dinner because you guys have requested hamburger helper. Yeah. I mean. So. Well, not requested. I told him. Yeah, demanded. So. We could have had like something really yummy because it's International Woman Day. Okay, so this is Dad's opportunity, once in a lifetime opportunity, to set the mold for how men should treat his daughters. Do you think you're gonna get chocolates and flowers? I no, I saw that he had flowers. a gray bag. <gasps> I'm guessing that was from Walmart, which is right kind of close to his work. Oh, Ooh. Wait, no. Dollar store is closer to his work. I love that. So I really <laughs> Maybe he got us the chocolate flowers. All right, so if you didn't get us anything, I just want you guys to know that that's real life. Too. That sometimes men are not like really into Those International Women's Day. Well, yeah. if it's International Men's Day, then we're not getting him anything. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we don't usually. Well, I, don't anyway. have, I don't even know if they have that. No. But, like, it better not. Right. It's women that rule the world. But anyway, yeah. let's go up to see if her dad brought us something for International Women's Day. And happy International Women's Day to all of you ladies out there. <gasps> wow! This one's yours. <laughs> That's crazy! This one's yours. Thank you! Uh, <laughs> this one's Gabby's. Well, there's only one last woman in the house. Who <laughs> would it be for? Sure. Wow! Just what we needed. Decent! A squishy? I never know how to hold them up. Smarties. I was expecting a Hershey's chocolate bar. <laughs> Just one. And a bunny. That's so nice. Thank you, Sam, for treating us good on International Women's Day. Aww. Aww. 
Wow! They're all based on what we like. Wow! I got rockets. What the heck are rockets? I like that. I love that. These are all my favorite things. Wow! You score points in the land of the women. Yeah, now make us food. Now make us food. Oh, we're embarrassing. Don't you know that you're beautiful?